Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming, and I wanted to give you a quick update video about what exactly is happening with my new eBay page. So if you watched my last Tradebinder video, you will have noticed that I made an eBay page. And the main goal of this was, I open all this product up for you guys on my channel, like the Dragons of Legend box, and uh, you know, Legacy of the Valiant Deluxe Edition, and all this stuff. And I felt, well, I enjoy doing this stuff, and I'm sure you guys do too, but I need some way to fund it all. So I decided, hey, you guys typically want some of the latter half of my binder that isn't as expensive, so why not turn all that expensive flashy stuff into cash that I can use you know, to get more product and basically fund itself in a cycle, get new product for you guys, uh, entertain you guys, uh, all that stuff in the process, you know, make some money for my own personal use. So with that, I decided to make an eBay page but to be honest, you know, I was completely new as a seller. I had no idea if it was going to sell at all or how successful I was going to be. So I foolishly made the mistake of posting things onto my eBay and YouTube, the same exact items, thinking, okay, most of my traffic will come from YouTube, and a lot of it still did. I'm actually kind of disappointed in this case that I did a lot better than I expected because, because eBay was doing so well, I ended up in at least two or three instances this week on YouTube, having to turn you guys away from a few of my uh, items that I showed on my binder because I no longer had it available. Someone had bid on it on eBay and I was no longer able to sell it to you guys because of fees if I were to cancel. So for that, I am very sorry if you were one of those people I was not able to work out a trade with. Um, if you've dealt with me before, you know that I've tried very hard to make everything work out if possible. And it really did hurt to have to send some of you guys away. And if I disappointed you, I'm very sorry with it. But the whole point of this video is to let you guys know that I've done some thinking and after these last few days getting settled on eBay, I feel like I've found the solution to avoid such double booking instances. So as you can see here, after doing a bunch of math, I figured out that if I want to earn a this personal goal I have, five bucks, about five bucks profit per transaction on eBay in order to, you know, fund all the boxes and stuff, I'll need to sell it eight bucks. That means anything that's under eight bucks will be put on YouTube in my binder, and you guys will have access to all the great deals on Staples and Stardusts and, you know, all that stuff. Um, so nothing's really changing. You may be thinking, well, what about all that expensive stuff? You know, aren't you going to show that on YouTube anymore? Well, no, not exactly. I'm not going to show it on YouTube because I don't want to double book and disappoint you guys in this type of way. However, I will be putting it up on eBay with warning videos so that you guys know exactly what stuff I have up on eBay. I'll do periodic updates so you can see what's going up there. And secondly, I invite you, if you haven't already, if you don't have an eBay page or if you haven't been buying on eBay lately, you know, join me on that page because as you can see here, I actually have this channel called, or page called JD Gaming YGO, where I sell some of the more expensive stuff at bargain prices. You can see Card Card D's playset I started at 40 bucks. Now, to be fair, yes, this could have ended up becoming ridiculously high, or could end up becoming ridiculously high because it is an auction. But that's just the nature of eBay, and I felt, well, I want to expose this product to as many people as I can, you know get the best deal for me so that I can get you know, boxes and stuff for you guys and at the same time uh, get all this stuff out there and make it so that no one feels left out by a really high price tag that I set at a fixed price. So the way I've been doing eBay is I set up a buy it now price that is about equivalent to what I saw on, e on YouTube with a dollar or two tacked on for the tracking costs and that way you know the more expensive stuff you know exactly where it is less chance of mail loss uh, being lost overall good for both of us but the main point is by putting both of these and giving you warning videos I'm actually giving you guys an advantage right you guys realize now uh, you get tracking included in your deal no questions asked if you're able to pay on eBay and then you get the benefit of getting these expensive cards at either the same exact price I would have or even better because I'm giving everyone a shot at bidding at it using your auctioning skills and see if you can get the best deals possible on these you know Valors I normally sell them for 30 see if you can snipe that uh, deal and get it at 20 you know 
Also, I put some things that I normally don't sell on my YouTube page on eBay, mainly because if you see here, Magellan's here. They're from my main deck, but I was willing to sell them because of how expensive they had gotten with YCS Philly. And the reason was there's tracking on eBay, you know, I'd have to pay extra fees on YouTube and, you know, arrange for extra stuff just to make sure the expensive cards don't get lost. But eBay already does that for me. I just print out the labels and everything's prepared. And I have the company's protection to make sure that I don't lose out and you guys don't lose out from lost product. So that's the route I felt was the safest and most effective for everybody, both you guys and for me. Uh, selling on eBay would be the best for the expensive stuff. But again, I invite you, uh, especially if you're a buyer, all you really need is a PayPal account and an eBay account, and you can start bidding even if you don't have any feedback. Uh, as you can see here, I have 99 positive feedback right now, but that all started in September when at zero. Uh, as I'll get to in a few minutes, I have this project I was putting together, a collection of sorts, and I was buying a bunch of singles in order to fill that project and get it completed. That's actually how I got a bunch of feedback from a lot of different people and got me started selling on eBay. So actually, if you're interested in possibly selling your own stuff, it's well worth buying on eBay now so that you can get the credit. So if you're going to buy from me anyway, might as well buy it through eBay, build your eBay account, get positive feedback, get the good reputation, and start selling immediately should you ever choose to do so. Uh, that's basically it on eBay at the moment. If you're interested in how I got started on one a guidance video, I felt for the last few days as I was scrounging around for resources and all this stuff about all my questions, I wanted someone guiding me. If you're interested in that, there's enough. Uh, I will make a video on that, so just let me know by PM or comment. And then uh, over here, I have prepared basically a short list of things you can expect in the next few weeks uh, for the course of the summer. It's not an exhaustive list, but for now I have planned one, a Primal Origin double box opening. My brother and I have each bought one box of Primal Origin. And so we're gonna open them up on camera and compete and see who gets the better box. So you guys can be the judge of that and enjoy two box openings at once. Uh, then the second thing here, this is JD Gaming's legendary collection. So. This is that project I had been alluding to a couple times and today. Basically, I looked at that binder that Konami released a few years ago with the god cards and all the old packs, and I was like, this is a really cool binder, and it even says the Legendary Collection, so what can I do with it? And I personally felt the best way to make it into something cool would be to collect all the old cards from the first series of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and basically put together this nostalgia bomb that has all this awesome stuff, all the iconic cards, all the characters and their rivals cards. You know, just something that if I were to open, you know, 10 years from now, I'd be like, I remember all this stuff from my childhood. You know, this is great. So if you're interested and, you know, you want to get that type of blast from the past, join me next week as I film and release that video onto YouTube. Uh, I feel like you guys will enjoy it. It turned out to be a really neat project, and I'm very excited to share that. And then uh, I'm definitely going to continue with weekly trade binder updates, again, with all of these guidelines to make sure your eBay experience and your YouTube experience here are no longer conflicting. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and subscribe if you haven't so that you can keep getting my content, and I can hopefully uh, brighten up your day. This has been JD Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.